video and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing another battle on this side. We're going to have Dragapult, on this side, we're going to have the new Gengar from Chilling Rain. And um, I'm not doing a, one of those things where I um, record the match and then I commentate over the recorded match. I'm just going to be uh, playing against myself here and I'm just going to be talking while I do. I'm going to be walking through my plays a little bit. So, yeah, we have Dragable here and Gengar here. And um, we're just going to start off with the coin flip. Gengar will go for heads, and Dragapult will go for tails. So it is tails. So Dragapult would like to go first. Obviously, he wants to get down that energy attachment. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be switching to the other side of the table um, to play as the other deck. So... Uh, here is the Gengar's hand. Looks like we're going to have to open a Galarian Zigzagoon. The only thing we really want in this hand is a Ghastly. If we could just get a single Ghastly out of this hand, that would be great. Because then we could go Horse Psychic Energy, Rocky Helmet, and we already have the Rosa and the Triple Acceleration Energy for our Gengar. So this hand is actually uh, actually pretty good if we can manage to get a Ghastly. And we have a couple turns to do it, fortunately. Over here for the Dragapult. It's like we got a couple of Jirachis, so obviously we're going to be starting one of those. Because Jirachis are really going to help us get up and rolling. Unfortunately, we play three whole energy spinners. So this hand that hasn't that doesn't have any energy in it is fine. Hopefully we can get some off of our multiple spiller wishes. So here we go. So it looks like we try to reach the stamp. Probably going to be discarding that or just putting it out there for later with Marnie. So I think we're just going to start off by benching our Dragapult V and Stellar Wishing. Try and find ourselves an Energy Spinner. We've got a Power Plant. Probably not going to be too useful against this Gengar deck. I only played one GX and that is the Dene. So we're probably going to take this Kubo Net so we can go into our second Jirachi we have in our hand to help us dig for that Energy Spinner. So we'll bent our second Jirachi and the scoop net our active Jirachi to go into the second one. And still I wish using this one. See if we can find our one of our three energy spinners here. So looks like we don't we might end up end up just going for maybe something like a crowbat. Or we could take this escape rope. I think that's what I'll do. I think I'll take this escape rope to go into the second Jirachi. We also have a quick ball in our hand. We can we can get our crowbat if we need to. We need to keep digging if we still don't hit our energy spinner. So we bench our Jirachi again to the escape rope. This side doesn't switch because we don't have a bench Pokemon to switch with. And still, I wish once again. Still no energy spinner. Yes, yeah, so there's still no energy spinner. Looks like I think I'm just going to whiff this Stellar Wish here. And then I'm not going to shuffle my deck because I'm going to quick fall away this morning and grab a Crobat out of our deck so we can. Let's try and dig for that energy a little bit deeper. So if we can get that energy, we're gonna be in a great spot. We'll be able to start taking our knockouts nice and early. So now we want good one in our hand before you crowbat, such as attaching this air balloon. I'm not gonna sit, I'm not gonna play this research stand yet, even though technically I do know because I also played that side that they have a really, really good hand. On this side, I don't know that. Um, because they even haven't had a turn yet. So usually I, I wouldn't resist stamp here, which means I'm not going to resist stamp here. So I'm just going to carve out for four. So, okay, so we get our energy. And we still have three more cards to draw. Another Dragapult. We're going to miss that Dragapult so we can maybe evolve them into VMAXs. But we have a couple energies, so we can start getting our energies down onto our Dragapults. And then that will probably just be a pass on the Dragapult here. And the Jirachi just wakes up because it's flipped heads. Okay, now here... See, we drew a Zacian V. Uh, might have to just bench that Zacian V and then go for the Intrepid Sword here. 
Yep, so I think I'm just going to go for the Intrepid Sword. Hopefully we can get a Ghastly. No, Ghastly, we do get a second Rosa, which will be nice. Maybe if this Galarian Jinzy gets knocked out next turn, we can use this Rosa to search out our Ghastly. Okay, so we have the Psychic Energy still, but what do we draw? Another Escape Rope, so it looks like that's our third Escape Rope. We do play four Escape Ropes in this list, so that will actually be pretty useful here, because we'll be able to Escape Rope our, and our force our opponents to go into this zone. I just realized you guys can't really see that. There, okay. Um, but yeah, I'm going to still wish first, maybe find something useful. A couple of bosses orders, VMAX, and a communication. And we don't have a Pokemon use with communication, unfortunately. Do you think we're just going to take the boss and then Marnie that away? And then hopefully we can get out our VMAX. Okay, now I'm just going to escape rope put up this. At least we're going to attack it. We can at least get out a jet assault for 140 at the very least. And now we can Marnie. Alright, so we get a Pokemon communication and a Pokemon which means we will be able to get out our VMAX. But unfortunately for the Gengar deck, have to Marnie away this really nice hand of theirs. Okay. So we get the Pokemon communication. I think I'm going to put this uh, Dragapult V into the deck to get out the Dragapult VMAX. And of course we get the nice new shiny one. That shiny just, this, this card just looks amazing. This, just, this card looks so good. Um, a lot of the shiny face shinies just look so, so nice. And the nice thing about this one is that it's actually a promo in a box for shiny face. So you can, you guys can get your hands on um, a playable shiny VMAX and V pretty easily. This nice these things cost like five bucks, I believe, whereas the regular ones, I believe I have one down here. The regular ones, th this one, this cost like nine bucks, so. Uh, yeah. But, getting off the VMAX for the Dragapult. And nothing else that we really need to play in our hand, I suppose. We could at least uh, retreat into this other Jirachi Stellar, which we have that switch in our hand. Looks like we find Tool Scrapper. I think we'll actually take that Tool Scrapper just in case the Gengar deck manages to break out something like a Ghastly with a Rocky Helmet on. I want to be able to get rid of that Rocky Helmet. So we're going to take that Tool Scrapper. And then we just have the switch. Um, you guys can see that, but we have a switch. I think so you guys can see that a little bit better. We have the switch into our VMAX. And now we can just use Max Phantom to deal 103 damage to this Zashian V and put five damage counters onto this benched Zigzagoon. Okay, and over here at the other side, we I have an okay hand. We can still we still have access to Intrepid Sword. We, we do get, actually get Rare Candy Obstagoon, which is actually decent. So I'm actually gonna I'm going to cook all away this twin energy to grab out a Ghastly, which does have it actually does have uh, 40 HP, which is you know, not going to be great because it means that the Dragapult can knock it out with damage counters instead of damage. I mean things like Horse Psychic Energy won't matter or won't activate things like Rocky Helmet. Won't activate, but at least we'll start to get out our um uh what was I gonna say? Our Gengars, our Haunters. Yeah. So now we can rear candy obstagoon, which will put a couple damage counters onto the Stragapult. And this is where since our Rocky Helmet won't activate, we'll still back this to at least our um our, um, what's it called? Why can't I think of it? Oh, yeah, our, um, our Obstagoon. Um, I'm just going to Intrepid Sword. Um, so we don't get anything too great, no triple acceleration energy or anything like that, unfortunately. I'm going over to the Dragon Ball here. They have a pretty decent hand. Drew another horse like energy, so we attach that to our Dragon Ball V. And, um, we could dig Force Kabunet's Galarian Zidzagoon. Scoot, not the Jirachi Bench of Galarian Zidzagoon. 
Actually, no, that wouldn't work. Never mind. Uh, I think we're just going to start with, we're just going to max fan and knock out both of these guys and put one more damage fan out here because it's going to have 40 HP. So, knock out both these guys. That's three prize cards. That's a huge margin in price trade for Dragapult. But, Gengar gets to search for two hunters from another bench. There's a haunter, and there's a haunter. So, get two haunters on the bench. But unfortunately, this game looks like it's just not going to be it for the Gengar deck, unfortunately. Pride and True Dragapult might take this one. So then we're just going to go up with the Haunter. We have the Gengar in our hand. We topped out a Rosa, which is actually really nice for us here. Then we're actually just going to Rosa and grab out a Rocky Helmet. Try and put that onto a Gengar here to maybe get a couple more damage counters. But this is not looking great for the Gengar deck, unfortunately. And this, uh, we can we can only get a couple of trainer cards. Okay, is there any other? So, <clears throat> I think what I might just do here is grab um, grab Rocky Helmets, Darkest Energy, and Iglyn Obstagoon. will allow the Gengar deck to hopefully get a couple more damage counters onto that Dragapult VMAX. But unfortunately, we're going to have to give another prize card to the Dragapult VMAX just to knock out this one Dragapult. This game is probably not going to be won here by, oh, what's it called, by the um, Gengar deck. We have to evolve this one into our Gengar. <coughs> Punch another Galarian Zitagoon. The thing, this VMAX right here. And then we have an energy which we could attach. I mean, it's probably decent to attach it to this Galarian Zizagoon because that means we could technically, we could attack with this guy if we need to. <coughs> we are just going to have to pass. Right, so let's see what we are going to draw here. We can draw a Jirachi. Uh, so I think we're just going to quick ball and discard this Jirachi here so we can get out our Galarian Zitzigoon. Um, that'll be able to, that'll let us take a knockout on that Galarian Zitzigoon as well. So this game is probably over, unfortunately, for, uh, for the Gander deck, unfortunately. So yeah, we can bench this. Galarian Zigzagoon. And we can put a ping onto, I think the Haunter will be able to get knocked out, actually. So I think we're actually going to put it onto the Haunter. And then we have the scuba net for the Galarian Zigzagoon. Put another damage counter for the Haunter. We have a second energy here, a tool scrapper, add insult injury, and then just a max phantom, which will knock out this Gengar and both the Haunter for two prize cards. And there's nothing really the Gengar deck can do now. All right, so I'm just gonna scoop it up. The Gengar deck obviously didn't get done going too great. The bench damage is just kind of a lot for this deck to handle. Um, could I maybe add something like a big parasol? The only bad thing about it is I don't know how easy it's gonna be to search it out is the main thing. But yeah, that is going to be it for today's video. I didn't really get to showcase this deck very much, which is, you know, it, it, the kind of showcase that you're supposed to do is just chain Gengars, but Obviously, Dragapult is a extremely strong deck, and uh, I'm not surprised that it obviously took the game away. It can knock out the Gengars for just two energy, and it can put damage counters on uh, on the bench guys for the Gengar deck, knocking out things like Legend of Gooms to maybe put extra damage counters, knocking out extra Ghastly. So it's really hard for decks for decks like this that have very low HP Pokemon in the beginning of the game to really deal with that Max Phantom. But, you know, I bet you that's, that's just why 
Dragon Pult is such a good deck. Now this Dragon Pult VMAX list, I will be doing a video on. I love this Dragon Pult VMAX list. I think it is absolutely nuts. I think Dragon Pult is the best deck in the format right now, actually. And I'm surprised people aren't playing it more. But I'll probably maybe do a video on that later today. I'll do double upload because I haven't been uploading as much this week. Because I had, it's been great, and the school started, and a whole bunch of school stuff. But yeah, it's going to be it for today's video. If you guys liked it, don't forget to leave a like. If you guys want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. As I do a whole bunch of Pokemon trading card game deck profiles, and just Pokemon trading card game in general. But yeah, it's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.